Welcome to the Trade Centric University BI Portal Skills Training. In this video, you will learn to harness the full potential of your transactional data by acquiring essential skills using the BI Portal Search and Filter Tools. Search and Filter Tools are crucial components of the Trade Centric BI Portal as they enhance data retrieval efficiency, support data analysis, and facilitate ad hoc data exploration. These tools empower users to unlock the full potential of their transactional data and make data-driven decisions with confidence. As a result of this training tutorial, you will be able to access the search and filter functionality in the BI portal. You will be able to correctly use these tools for optimal efficiency in transactional data retrieval, and you will also gain the ability to navigate and locate key information on commonly accessed transactions across punch-out sessions, purchase orders, and invoices. Next, let's take a look at the Trade-Centric BI Portal, where I will demonstrate how to effectively utilize these tools. Once you have logged into the Trade-Centric Business Intelligence Portal, you will see your home dashboard view. When it comes to retrieving data, there are two paths. You can use the Reports feature, or you can use the Search and Filter tools. Reports are covered in a separate video tutorial, and to get to your Reports tool, you can select the Reports option in the toolbar, or simply click on one of the columns in your dashboard layered overview of all services. You may notice the absence of a visible search icon on your dashboard. To access the Search and Filter tools, you need to open any of the system list pages which can be found under Activity, Configuration, and Quoting on your toolbar. These tools are specifically available on list pages. It's important to note that the data available in these locations depends on the trade-centric solutions you are using. I will demonstrate the process of accessing the functionality in each of these locations. For instance, under Activity, I will select Punch-Out Sessions, which retrieves a list of all punch-out sessions across all operations and routes. In the top right corner of the header, you can find the search and filter tools. These tools allow you to change the operation, select specific routes, enter criteria into the search field, or add filters. On each list page, you will find the search and filter tools situated at the top right corner of the page. For example, when I select Order Requests, a list of purchase orders across all statuses and routes is displayed. Depending on the chosen page, you may encounter different drop-down menus or varying options. For instance, under Configuration, selecting Catalog Routes will only present the search field and filter without any drop-down menu options. Now that you are familiar with accessing the search and filter tools on the list pages under Activity, Configuration, or Quoting, Let's explore how to effectively use this functionality to retrieve data. As an example, let's navigate to Activity and select Punch-Out Sessions. Here you will find a list of Punch-Out Sessions, with the most recent session appearing at the top of the page. If you wish to sort the list based on any displayed column, simply click on the column to initiate or reverse the sorting. Additionally, you can use the arrows next to the column to reverse the sorting order. At the bottom of the page, you will notice that it displays the current page number as 1 and shows that you are viewing 25 entries per page. You have the option to adjust the number of entries displayed per page to 10, 50, or 100. By clicking the Next button, you can proceed to the next page and continue navigating through the listed results. To return to the previous page, simply select the Previous button. If you wish to jump all the way back to the first page, you can navigate to the top of the results list and click on the refresh icon, which will take you back to page one. Next, let's explore how to retrieve data using the tools. When searching for a specific punch-out session, the session key is a common criterion to use. In this example, I will enter the session key into the search field. Immediately, the system retrieves the matching punch-out session. If you wish to remove the search criteria and return to the original list of data, simply click on the X located in the right corner of the search field. In addition to searching by session key, you can also filter punch-out sessions based on the operation type. In the Operations drop-down menu, 
you will find three options, Create, Edit, and Inspect. Selecting Create will display only new punch-out requests. Choosing Edit will show edit cart requests exclusively, and opting for Inspect will retrieve Inspect cart requests. The All Routes drop-down will allow you to focus on data for a specific route. Another method of searching involves using the contact email to retrieve contact-specific transactions. Furthermore, you can search by just the contact's name, even though it is not listed as a column on the page, as the name is available in the transaction details. In this scenario, I will enter the contact email into the search field to retrieve the corresponding results. Now, I will add a filter to the results by selecting Filter. Initially, I see Data, Condition, and Value drop-down menus. From Data, I will select Session Date, then under Condition, I choose Between, and my value drop-down changes to two date fields. I enter my date ranges, and then select Apply. Now, I see all transactions associated to the contact email I entered within my specified time frame. If I return to my filter, I can also add multiple conditions if necessary by selecting Add Condition. After adding a condition, I will choose Session Key from the drop-down and select the condition of Starts With and then enter letters that I know begin the Session Key that I'm looking for. After selecting Apply, I can see the specific result I was looking for. There are a couple of other items to note regarding the Filter option. When I open the Filter tool again, Note that between the multiple conditions, there is an AND on the left side. If you wish to change this to OR, simply click on the AND and it will change. To change it back, click again. Additionally, on the right side, there are arrows in each condition row. Selecting the arrow will allow you to indent the row and insert another condition in between. Now that you understand how to access and use the search and filter tools, it is also important to know where to locate key information when retrieving punch-out sessions or purchase orders as these are commonly searched types of data. After navigating to the list of punch-out sessions, I can open the details by either clicking the link for the session key or selecting the arrow to the right of the listing. In this instance, I will open the punch-out session details by selecting the arrow. On the right side, you can see a summary tab with key data for that session. One important detail to note is that if there is a related purchase order, you can find that information at the bottom of the summary in the Related Order Requests section. Thanks to session linking, you can directly access the purchase order by selecting the Open link. Once the purchase order detail is opened, you will notice a similar summary section on the right side, providing key information such as dates and times, the route, order value, and the contact. It is notable that at the very bottom, there is a link that takes you back to the related punch-out session. On the left side, you will find the details of the purchase order, including bill to and ship to information, contact details, and item descriptions. Additionally, there are a few more details to be aware of. In the Note tab, you will discover your assigned delivery reference ID, which is also visible in the History tab. The History tab displays a chronological record of activity for punch-outs, order notifications, and invoices. The document progression is tracked, and in the Message column, you can observe the same delivery reference ID as shown in the Notes area. As a result of watching this video, you should now know how to access the search and filter functionality in the BI portal, how to correctly use the search and filter tools for optimal efficiency in data retrieval, and you have gained the ability to navigate and locate key information on commonly accessed transactions across punch-out sessions, purchase orders, and invoices. Thank you for watching this Trade-Centric University video.